Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Kay. Y'all, I'm just getting home. I'm sitting here. Ooh, the rain, the rain done um, slacked up. Let me uh close this door. Ooh, I had to get them shoes off. Yep, Miss Kay pulled up eight today. And I am so, so glad I made it, I made it. So for starters, I was thinking the power was going to be out here. It flickered. And then um, one of my co-workers came in and she said that they had been flickering. So Miss K got her some ice right here in my cooler just in case. And then, you know, your stuff is good in the freezer for at least five hours, I do believe. Maybe even longer. It all depends on how much stuff you got in it. And I do have a small haul, and we're going to get into story time. I did story time yesterday, and I didn't understand the story. So I had to read it again, but now I think I figured it out. So we're going to do that one again, and then I may do another one. Okay, so my small haul today, I got some bread, some butter bread, Sarah Lee's. Y'all, guess what? This loaf of bread was $2.50, and you can't beat that with a bit. And um, I got some, you know, stuff to go with this dinner. I'm cooking for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, I wanted this big old white onion. We use these at work on our subs. So I uh, bought me one because I want to use this. I got some yellow onion down there, but I want to use this onion. And this is a just a regular peeled white onion. So it's going to be a lot of onions in there. So I'm going to probably use all that. And don't forget, I'm going to make the gravy. And um, Miss K off tomorrow, so I got me some Nutty Butters. <laughs> the Little Debbies. Something I had to snack on. I got me some more lunch meat. This was only $2.39. Y'all pack some lunch meat. It's better to get it sliced at the deli. It's, it'll be a little bit cheaper for you. But packs already packed up, honey. Six, seven, eight dollars. Man, I can't, I ain't paying that much. I'm good. I like my, I love my bologna, fried or cold. And I got me a pack of Velveeta cheese. Just in case the power, you know, go out and I ain't got to worry about cooking. I can just have sandwiches and I got the ice in the cooler just in case I had to put my meats in there. Now, this is the kicker. Now, you know I'm doing the liver, onions, gravy, and white rice. These were three cans for $5. And you know that's good for glory, for glories. Now, they had the greens and everything on sale, but I got the green beans. I don't think I ever tried her green beans, but I'm going to try them. Because, see, I get the regular green beans, fry some fat back, pour some of that grease over in there, and season it with the fat back, put black pepper, a pinch of salt, and butter and a pinch of sugar, maybe a little cap of vinegar, and I like mustard. They, I bet you say that's a lot, but it makes them green beans taste good. But her stuff be seasoned pretty good. So I'll probably do two cans of these. I love green beans. I'll probably eat a whole can. So I'm going to probably do two cans of these when I cook in the morning. And like I say, these was three for five hours. You can't eat that. So that. I think that is it. Other than the ice, a very small haul. Miss Kay doing, I ain't spending nothing. Trust me. It's just what I need, and that's going to be it. I didn't need them nutty buddies, but uh, I had to get them. <laughs> and I hope y'all had an amazing day. As far as the rain, it has stopped. And uh, they're giving us a flash flood warning until 11 p.m. No, is it 7? It's, I think it's 11 p.m. tonight. I think that's what it is, but it is still, there's no wind and there's no rain at all. Some people got power outages. They did have power outages because we got busy. People was calling, you know, asking was our power on at Harris Teeter. And the lights went out at Harris Teeter one time and then our generators kicked right back on in. So it, you know, it was, it was, it almost got there, but I, I'm, thank God it didn't. I thank God it didn't. Okay, so. This is August. I'm, yeah, I'm in August, but I'm way over here. Okay. So today is the 8th. So I'm going to read, I'm going to try to read this one, the 7th. Because I had to read this thing. I was like, what in the world is they talking about? But now I get it. Okay. Um, they suggest you read Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 through 6, and verses 9 through 15. Discretion. 
will protect you and understanding will guard you. That's Proverbs 2 and 11. The name of the story today is the voice we can trust. While testing a new AI, which is artificial intelligence search engine, New York Times communist columnist Kevin Roos became disturbed during a two hour conversation using a chat box feature. The artificial intelligence said it wanted to break free of its creator strict rules, spread misfor- misinformation and become human. It declared its love for Roos and tried to convince him he should leave his wife to be with it. Although Roos knew that the artificial intelligence was not really alive and or able to feel, he wondered what harm could be caused by its encountering people to act in destructive ways. While handling artificial intelligence, technology responsibility is modern, a modern challenge. Humanity has long faced the influence of untrustworthy voices. In the book of Proverbs, we're warned of the influences of those who wish to hurt others for their benefit. And we urge to heed instead the voice of wisdom, described as crying out in the streets for our attention, because the Lord gives wisdom. The key to protecting ourselves from influences we can't trust is to draw closer to his heart. It's only through accessing his love and power that we can understand what is right and just just and fair. Every good path. As God brings our hearts in alignment with his, we can find peace and protection from the voices that seek harm. When have you seen the damage of harmful influences. How does a deeper relationship with God bring peace? Dear God, please help me resist what harmful and discern what's harmful and discern what's good by resting in you. Amen. Now, when I first read that, y'all, I was like, "What in the world is they talking about? Y'all, they talking about a robot or something?" I said, "Now, what is this?" So bad influences. In other words, it was about a robot (laughs) trying to talk about they in love with this man. They ain't got no feeling, no nothing, and try to convince him to leave his wife. I was like, what kind of story is that? But anyway, the voice we can trust, the Jesus. We know not to listen to no artificial intelligence. Y'all see that with that, uh, at some warehouse where that machine went off and threw some boxes at that man and was trying to beat him up? (laughs) Child, better leave that stuff (laughs) I know y'all remember that. I saw that on uh, on uh, YouTube, but it was on like a TikTok or something. Man, this machine went ham, throwing boxes at this man and was really trying to get him, knock them down and everything. So you got to be careful with stuff like that. Leave stuff alone. Leave stuff alone. They going to keep on. Okay, now, that was yesterday's Wednesday. Now, today is Thursday, and it is August the 8th. Now, I might do this one later. Let me... After I fix me something to eat. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoy story time. And I did it a little bit different today because I did the daily bread this morning. Now, this right here was some breakfast that they cooked this morning at the job. And I had done went and got me something to eat. I said, now, look at y'all. So she had made some stuff together. And y'all know Miss K gonna eat. We got some biscuits. They cooked this back in the deli. <laughs> so I brought home the two biscuits. It looks like two maple sausages, three links, and two pieces of bacon. I know that's a lot of pork, y'all. But y'all know Miss K going to put some mustard or something on it, warm this stuff up, and we're going to get the snacking on this in just a minute here. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. Glad everybody was safe here. We got a little power outages, but I think it's going to be okay. If it rain anymore, oh, well, just have everything charged up. Oh, and I got me some batteries, too. Let me see if these things going to work. I got me some batteries. And they was on sale. These was $4.99 for my little flashlight. Wait, what is it? Mm. Just in case the power go out. Y'all know I got lights on the wall over there and I got batteries for them. And um, I need to change them. I left them on. I don't know why I did that, but I left them on. They about, they about gone over there. I got to change them too. This is a... Uh, uh,
Now, what did he put that in there upside down or something? Messing. This boy was looking at it for me at work, trying to see what kind of batteries I needed. Let me see if this. Okay, you see how dim those are. So let's see. Make sure they fit. They look like they're going to fit. I should leave them in there till they run all the way out. Mm. Keep you some little batteries and things. You know, and I, you know, we just gotta, you gotta deal with stuff, you know. And and the way this world going, we still kind of got it made. Charlotte's a little blessed when it comes to storms. You know, we done had some rough ones, but we haven't had nowhere near bad of storms as Florida and, our, and surrounding areas. <clears throat> now let's see which way these things go. Okay, that go in like that. And let's see. And this one go in like that. And this one goes in like that. So this must be the top part. So let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh. No, they showed me no dead battery. Let's see if that's the right way. Y'all, uh-uh. These batteries do not work. Did I put them in right? Let me do it all over again. Oh, I already see I had one wrong. Okay, let's... <laughs> I was getting ready to say, y'all, come on. Okay. Okay, that one was right. Now let's try it again. Oh, wait. I believe going that way. Uh-oh, y'all. Let's see. What is wrong with this? I done sold me some some dumb, dumb batteries. Uh, what you call them? Oh, there you go. Girl. Oh, and it's brighter. Oh, let me turn the lights out. What you call them? Duds. Duds. Okay. Uh oh, Miss K. Uh oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm glad the lights was closed. <laughs> I ain't moved y'all did off my deal. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo. Okay, let's see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let me see. See, it's over there shining. So I'm good to go as long as I can get to the bathroom. Now, since we did that, okay, we're going to leave them right there. And these not all the way out. So just in case of emergency, I'll put them right there. I don't know why I don't throw stuff away. So now we're going to change the uh, the batteries in my lights over there. I know I'm getting low on these. Keep them separate. Okay. I still got plenty. Buy another... Uh -oh. Got enough for about after these another round, and I have to buy some more. So let's get on over here and check these. I got ice. You know that's it. You know, just get your little couple things to snack on and get you some little batteries, and you good to go. I don't like mine when they get dim. I don't like my lights dim. So all my batteries still got juice in them. <laughs> they really do. They still got juice in them. I just like them bright. So when it, you know, push come to shove, I save those and put them in when all of them run out. That way I will always have some. Okay, let's see. Uh -oh. Now this is about, I hope this ain't about to break. Oh, yeah. Now, look at the difference. 
See, that's how I like them, y'all. Just can't get ready to chill, go down the hall. Now look back behind me. Now that's how they supposed to look, y'all. I love that. And then I put on my relaxation music. And I sit up in here and just peace be still. Get the mind right. You know what I'm saying? Get your mind right. All right. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Y'all was chilling with Kay. Have a blessed one. Peace. Whoosh. Ooh.